Let's go live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, 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 welcome. If it's your first time viewing, I welcome you. This is <clears throat> Brian Casella, BC. This is my weekly <clears throat> lecture and Q&A portion for Modern Success, one of my coaching programs. And I do about, you know, 40, 45 minutes, maybe a little bit more. And then I do a Q&A, depending on how many people have questions. I also have a private group and a bunch of other bonuses that go with it. But if you're tuning in for the first time on YouTube, I give a free 10 to 12 minute segment of my talk on, um, on YouTube live, right? So welcome everybody. I'll give it a couple seconds. Make sure that if you're tuning in live that you give it a thumbs up and that you drop a note saying where you're tuning in from, right? Cool. Now today I'm going to focus on, on branding and I want to go over some stuff that I've learned watching people, some stuff that I've learned reading, and just some other facts that I know will definitely put things in perspective for you. If you're watching me, I'm sure you're to some extent curious about create, creating your own brand, making sure it's strong. Maybe you're starting um, you know, to video uh, blog, like vlog and do these all, the, all these other things and you're kind of making sure that when you start that you do things correctly, right? I get a ton of questions about this and it's something that I want to talk about and cover. I've written down a few points uh, just to to really make sure that I cover the nuts and bolts of, of everything. There's going to be a, a few main principles. I may cover one or two on the YouTube portion, but everybody from Auto Success, you're really going to get um, like an all-star, all-star uh, lecture today for sure. I've put a lot of thought and my own experience into this one too, okay? So welcome everybody, YouTube, live, recording, everybody. When it comes to your brand, right? One of the first questions I'm gonna ask you is, who are you and where are you from? Now when I say, where are you from, I don't mean, oh, what city were you born in, right? Where are you from, what's your background, right? What's the legacy, right? So if it was BC, BC, where are you from, right? Now, all of you watching me, absolutely know, especially if you've been following me for more than a couple weeks or even a month, you know everything about me, right? That I used to play basketball, how I started, the struggle, door knocking, calling, doing the hustle, coming from nothing, right? You know that. You pretty much know a lot of intimate details about me that not a lot of people know. So the where are you from aspect in my brand is something that from the beginning without me even knowing, I strategically did correctly, right? Because there's a lot of things that some people just do right because they have that technique in them, right? They're doing it, they don't know it's the proper technique, it's just that's what they do and it happens to be the right thing. Case in point. Uh, in social settings, some people seem to be a little bit more socially savvy or natural, as they call it, versus some other people who may be more shy and introverted. It's not that the natural is special, it's that he's doing certain or she is doing certain things correctly based on the sequence. Right? So if there's a certain system or step-by-step -step process to follow, this person naturally is following it without knowing. Right now, obviously, step one in that case is to bring awareness to that tool or thing, and then now it becomes a power because you can implement it here and there. Right? <clears throat> so, who are you? Where are you from? Right? This has to be crystal clear in your brand. Crystal clear. It's not just like a one a one sentence answer. Right? You have to be able to create the story and narrative about it which is why I truly believe that my channel, especially being a realtor, my foundation was being a real estate agent, grew so much is I shared my journey, I shared my story, the real me out there, right? What I wasn't good at, what my flaws were, where, where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do, right? The daily hustle, the daily struggle, the emotional up and down, uh, you know, my past, and then going through injuries and you know, the roller coaster of life and emotions. So that's something that I instinctively did right now. The reason I did it at the time without knowing the power in it was, well, I feel like too many people are fake. From my experience, I'm meeting too many people who 
portray this artificial image on social media of being like perfect, but I know behind the scenes, because I've met them, spent time with them, got to know them, that they're not that same person. So I vowed from day one and said, I'm not gonna do that. The BC in the house or with my family or out in the world is gonna be the same BC that you see behind the camera. No filter, no holds barred, right? It is what it is. So you either love me or you hate me, right? And that whole dichotomy of love and hate later for the modern success people, that's something I'm gonna cover because there's power in that, right? And that's part of the process. Well, let's continue, right? That has to be there. So if you're a realtor or you're an internet entrepreneur or you're anybody selling a product or service or you're this entity, you're this brand of Nike or whatever it is, there has to be that story behind it. Why is it that when, when we ask people about you know Amazon, Nike, they all know that it started, or like where it started or they have some hint of it. They wanna know. That's in our human nature's desire, right? Case in point, when you meet people, right? Even though it's like socially correct in most cases, even though sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, what's one of the first questions people will ask you is, you know, where are you from, right? So it's in our nature to want to know that stuff. So with that said, by virtue of that, if your brand, you, especially if you're a real estate agent, it's you or, you know, any kind of entity, right? If they don't know that, there's already going to be a little bit of lack of trust or confusion on the other side, right? Consumer, anybody watching, the audience, whatever you want to call it. There's already going to be that because knowing that is one of the foundations for trust, believe it or not, right? If people don't know much about you, especially if you're selling a high ticket item, product, service, whatever it is, they're not going to trust you or they'll be less likely to trust you, right? Or not as a high level. Right? And when I started analyzing some of these things, I was like, you know, this is so true, right? That's why I think so many people will connect with me uh, without ever meeting me because this whole social media and internet thing blew my mind that people could be so supportive of me, you know, buy my products and all that without even knowing me. I'm like, man, this person follows me on the internet, you know, and they're messaging me, you know, asking questions like that's really cool, right? But a, lo a lot of, a lot of these things I was doing right, and that's kind of what caused that, but who, who am I, where am I from? I've been since day one answering that, what I'm about, what I believe in, what I don't believe in, what, what, where I stand with certain subjects, this and that. So of course, people are gonna feel like they're really connecting with me, right? Now, there's an infinite of branches to that tree, right? But I just wanted to touch on that real quick because I still think that even though some people may say that's handled, like, oh yeah, everybody knows where I'm from or my brand. It's still not, it's still not crystal clear. It has to be crystal clear, all that, crystal clear. Cool, all right, let's move on. Number two is you can call it like your mission statement or whatever it is. What does your brand, your entity, what does it represent? Again, clearly, for example, Nike, just do it, the most classic one. Just do it. What's yours? Does you, do you have one, right? Does it catch people's attention? Does it communicate exactly what your brand is and what you want and what you represent? Right? And I think for a lot of people and companies and brands, that's not clear. It doesn't have to be long, right? It can be short, just do it, wow. You say just do it to anybody, they know it's Nike. Very powerful. And you can think of a gazillion from other companies, right? But that one really st stood out to me, me always being an athlete. So what is yours, right? And again, even if you have one right now, double check and say, does this reflect my brand, my beliefs, my philosophies, what we do, and everything? You need to find that statement that best encompasses everything. So it has not only an impact, an emotional impact on somebody, but they can look at your brand like Nike, just do it and be like, okay, cool. That would make sense that that's like an athletic brand. Right? I'm looking at it. Okay, just do it. Makes sense. You know, the shoes, clothes, whatever it is. Now, now you're beginning to formulate the right entity, right? Because there's a bunch of steps. Now, some people here will make a mistake and they want to fit this huge, like, two paragraph thing into it. In my personal opinion, it has to be a sentence, maybe two max or less. 
and it has to deliver impact. If it has no impact, right? Because to me, just do it is simple, yet it's clever. Just do it, right? I say that to people all the time. Oh, BC, should I do this, da 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 or, you know, where do I need to go with this? I'm like, dude, just get out there and take action. Just do it, right? Whatever I say, you can condense it down to just do it. And to me, it's a very powerful statement. Get out of your own way, just do it, right? Another one from like uh, Keller Williams, I think one of the things is be bold, right? Life by design, right? Those, again, those are mission statements, creeds, whatever you want to call them, that represent something specific. And it gives you an insight and it helps you create this image or understanding of what that brand represents. And that's key because it's either going to form a positive or a negative response. Now, if you're creating a negative response and then you're not getting sales, is it a wonder why, right? You got to make sure that it's positive, impactful, strong all the time, especially if you're following me and you're a salesperson, online person, whatever it is, we want that to be strong and powerful. Okay, cool. So I will do two quick plugs for YouTube and then I'll end the free portion. Um, January 19th and 20th, it's on my website. I'm doing the event, Double Your Income. Highly recommend you go. We only have a few spots left. And lastly, this is Modern Success. Make sure that you follow the link in uh, the description and make sure you guys sign up as Modern Success is a really, really good program and it gets better and better. See you guys.